is distracted. Man is distracted. His attention is pulled across many fronts. Strategies have been on ground. The right tools have been deployed to make sure his meditations are on several things except God. And the eternal commands continue to echo. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Before the evil days come, remember thy creator. The labor of he that sent us is urgent, but man will be used up by every other agent until his days are spent. Then he reflects upon eternal things at the evening phase of his life. It's a tragedy that has befallen several generations. And even for a generation as Kairos as ours, the verdict remains the same. Remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. Remember him, for you must do the work of he that sent you while it is day. So teach us, teach us to number our days so that we may incline our hearts unto wisdom. The night is far spent and a new day is upon us. The resurrection is right before us. And so the life that we have lived will become a report. It will become a report, a guise by which men will be measured to give us allotment in the age to come. There is a city far beyond the stars. There is a city, a city far beyond the stars. And we labor, day and night we strive. Every single temptation we overcome is another merit to assess that kingdom, that city far beyond the stars. Man is distracted. Man is distracted across many fronts. And there is a prerequisite consciousness of eternity man must sustain consciousness of eternity man must sustain for him to overcome the temptations that befalls him on a daily basis and if that consciousness is not factored into your nature every product the devil throws at you will be attractive man must remember he's a pilgrim and so from that tangent he will walk past many things this world is not our home but, but strangers here and one day when the veil is drawn we will take our last breath and exit this realm. There is a city far beyond the stars. By all means, labor to be a part of that civilization. It's a dying world. The whole elements are perishing. There is a clear sign written on the heavens. Everybody can see it, that the earth is failing. And man continues to project. Man continues to make plans. Man continues to ignore the handwriting of impending judgment that is written all over creation. Would you reject Jesus now? Would you appear in eternity without him? And if you appear there without him, you are lost forever. This is a message. This is a call. This is another wake-up call. That you should not go through all your pursuit in life and avoid God. Because at the end of it all, he is all that we have. Eternity is dangerous without him. And so he is our reference, he is our bearing. Without him, we are lost. Make it a point of duty to reevaluate your stand. Examine yourself and see if you are still standing. For many products, many products will continue to come at us. Make sure, make sure by all means, the prize remains Jesus and the goal remains heaven. The one confession we live for is heaven at last. And we want to continue to thrive, continue to strive, continue to thrive in all that we do until God becomes our obsession until God becomes all we live for. It is only in Him we live, we move, and we have our being. And when time 
is drawn to an end. He is the only hope we have. God is all. We have nothing but Him. And in eternity, we have no inheritance but Him. We've lived in Him before, and when time is closed, we will continue to live in Him. Heaven, heaven, oh heaven, my home, my home, far, far, far beyond the stars. We anticipate with great, great expectation. Oh, this world is not our home. We are but strangers here. And so day and night, we continue to press. Press for the mark of the higher calling. Because we know, we know that in the shortest time, time will come to an end and will be numbered. And so we pray that the Lord continues to keep us, present us faultless before his throne. And by his appearing, we are not found wanting. Amen.